Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is a video showing you how to use the calendar app in your Windows 8 machine. Uh, one word of caution, if you've been using uh, Gmail calendars, it's no longer available unfortunately in the um, Windows 8 calendar app uh, since the uh, upgrades. So if you didn't do upgrades yet, your calendar will still work on Gmail. But if you upgrade through the Microsoft Store, uh, the mail app will, uh, the mail, the people, the calendar and uh, messaging apps are going to be updated. And your uh, calendar loses its uh, synchronicity with um, Gmail, unfortunately. So you click on your calendar app, which is always the one, the tile with the date on it. And there you will need, first of all, an account. Uh, a Microsoft account of some sort, Hotmail, Hot Outlook, whatever. All you have to do are an exchange. You go on the right side, you swipe from right to left if you have a touch screen, or you just go in the corners with your mouse and click settings. Go into the accounts and add an account. There you'll be um, greeted with that screen, having an Outlook Exchange Office 365 or Hotmail account of some sort. So depending on your account, you will choose which one you want. You can have multiple accounts and um, just add all the details. Once that's done, uh, one little tweak you might want is go back into the charms bar and click the options in the settings and change the little colors. So you have colors of, you know, each account has its own color and each type of notification in the calendar has its own color. So you can change that and say, well, you know, I want uh, something, um, what do I want in my calendar, what color it will show up, uh, purple or blue or whatever. So, um, and if you change the color, you'll see that everything that's associated with that will actually change. For example, everything blue became red in my uh, calendar that's associated with that. So that's another option where you'll have different colors telling you different stuff. Uh, information depending on what type of um, information the calendar shows up. If you've uh, synchronized your Hotmail, Outlook, uh, Office 365, put the Facebook account in your people, uh, in your people app, you'll notice that everything synchronizes together and you finally have, for example, everybody's birthday will show up in that calendar. Uh, it's a nice added feature but can really clutter your um, calendar a lot. So depending on how many friends you have and all, it's a good or could be a good or a bad idea. So um, if you uh, want to add something to that calendar, first of all, the way to navigate through the calendar is um, at the top, if you move your finger on your screen or move your mouse, you'll see that at the top, there are two arrows showing up on the right side and on the left side here and you can navigate uh, through the calendar with these little arrows uh, going forward or if you want to see something uh, of a, uh, a past um, um, a past event uh, you just go through there if you want to change the view basically the view is always by month you can uh, simply right click or if you have a touch screen just swipe from bottom to up and you'll have at the bottom uh, the views that are available by day they are available by working week which is Monday to Friday by week which is Sunday to Saturday and also by month and the navigation through the weeks and the months are all the same with the little arrows on the top right and left of your screen you want to add something you just click on the tile. I'll go into the 24 and here I'll choose. Okay, this is an event at uh, 3 p.m. How long will it last? Let's say two hours. Uh, where at um, hospital, for example. You can invite people if it's something social. You have more information if you do show more, uh, which is how many is it once is it every day every week uh, every month or once a year 
you can add that information and it will actually add itself automatically in your calendars. You can have reminders of, um, you know, no reminder at start time or, you know, up to a week in advance. I'll put none. Second of all, if you have only one account, it's cool. There's not going to be any problems with that. If you have more than one account in your calendar, then you'll have to go on the top and choose which account you are using for your calendar. That's important for the good calendar and the good colors. On the upper right, you will add a title. So, hospital, um, then add a message. Okay, uh, appointment, appointment with doctor, for example. And then you'll have that little save icon that you can tap or click on that will add the feature. And here it is, hospital. Now, hospital calls you up or whatever, you have friends or, and they say, well, we can't do it. It's not going to be possible. How do you remove something from it? All you have to do is click or tap on the event itself to show it up. And then you'll have that little trash that little trash can that's a delete the event and you just click on it or tap on it and you said do you want to delete hospital yeah I will delete that and it's removed from your calendar same thing there's uh, something changing maybe uh, for example my friends wanted to have a beer on uh, Wednesday the 17th but now it's on uh, Thursday I'll uh, simply tap or click on it and I'll modify so it's not Wednesday it's now Thursday and just tap the save to save it and there it is on the 8th thing. So it's a nice app it's a little basic I must admit that they could have done a better job um, but yet it's a functional calendar for appointments uh, which is always nice to have and um, it's a great way to um, keep in touch with all the appointments you have in your life. If you uh, have um, multiple Windows 8 machines, what's cool about this calendar app is the fact that it synchronizes with all your machines. If you have a Windows phone, it's going to synchronize with your Windows phone, for example. So all that makes it an interesting app if, you've, uh, if you're in the Windows world. So um, hope you enjoyed these videos. Maybe you have that new machine and uh, want to learn more about Windows 8, let us know. And click the subscribe button. And of course, um, check all the videos we have online, lots and lots of stuff about, um, uh, lots of stuff about um, Windows 8, of course, and learning more uh, and more on how to use your new computer, maybe that you have. Maybe you're a little lost with all that new stuff in Windows uh, 8. So uh, this is a great channel to learn more on how to use. If you have a request of something you'd like to see, um, or a feature you'd like to see reviewed or uh, explained, let us know. We'll try to put a video online and uh, hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.